Welcome to the Conservative Commandos. I am Rick Manning with Americans for Limited Government, and he is George Landreth from Frontiers of Freedom. If you'd like to hear a rebroadcast of today's show, which I know you will because this is spectacular, and so we got a great show planned for you guys. I mean, you're going to love this show. Um, but if you want to hear a rebroadcast, go to ccrsnetwork.com or ccrshow.com. Like us, friend us, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Just look for the Conservative Commandos. George, 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 missed you last week, but we did have a great show nonetheless. Um, but it was, uh, it was just something missing. We didn't have your bright, shining face. But <laughs> I had to look at this ugly mug all the time. It, it, it might have been better without me. You never know. It was it was horrible. This, they had, everybody had to look at this ugly mug. And for those of you on radio, you are fortunate. Um, so given that, we are great. You we and are, me have so, radio faces, though. We have radio faces. So there, yeah, there you go. But and, and so we send special apologies to all of you on the AUN radio uh, television network who are actually viewing this. Or those of you who are watching it on the internet, um, you know, well, let's say, you know, sorry, maybe you just want to have the audio on. But nonetheless, here we are. And we have a lot of interesting stuff to talk about. Um, so many things going on. We've got, uh, but you know, where I want to start, and, and we'll get to the president's rally and a lot of other things. But, you know, I thought Taylor Swift had a squad. I mean, who knew that AOC has a squad? I, I, I what is this? I the first time I heard it, I, I, I thought it was a, it was a squad with a T. I, I, I was, I might not have been that far off, but it's a. I was just kind of, uh, what is that? So talk to me. I mean, George, the AOC squad. You, I mean, who are these people? What is going on? <laughs> well, I, yeah, I, I think it's a squad of crazies. Uh, you know, it's interesting. You've got. Uh, I thought it was three, basically, but it turns out there's a fourth. But, you know, the, the natural f three to me were uh, uh, Alexandria occasional cortex. Um, uh, I mean, Ocasio-Cortez, sorry, um, who occasionally uses her brain, but not very often, I guess. But um, and then, of course, um, you had Ilhan Omar and then you had uh, Rashid Tlaib. Um, but now they've got this new um, congresswoman from... Uh, Massachusetts that's added to it, I guess. And, you know, it was amazing to me. And she's sitting there talking, denouncing racism while telling people that they only want brown people who, who talk in a brown voice. I'm not sure if she meant accent or if she meant their messaging needs to be the traditional democratic, uh, you know, in other words, you know, Clarence Thomas isn't, uh, doesn't need to speak up because she, it was just the weirdest thing for somebody well, like that. George, the most amazing part about it was what she was actually talking about was, was the efforts by the squad and their political hit people to go after members of the Congressional Black Caucus. Yeah. Um, the, most, the most liberal group in, as a whole on Capitol Hill. But she, she was justifying going after people like Representative um, Lacey Clay out of Missouri and, and being in primary members of the Black Caucus because, remember this, this is really important for people to hear. You are not entitled to have a voice unless you're speaking in lockstep with the new Venezuelan wing of the Democratic Party. Yeah. If you have a if you have a different point of view, if you happen to have you know been around for longer than twelve minutes, um, and you have a point of view that is um, that is liberal but isn't crazy, yeah, or even if you just you, have some basic understanding of history, so the, yeah, you're not so welcome. this isn't so just it's really important for people to hear this. This is not about just censoring conservative groups now. She wants to shut down speech from even people within her own philosophical framework who don't agree with her narrowly held view, Marxist view of the world. And that's how Marxist works. Uh, Marxism works. Remember, and, and for those who study history, when Lenin took over, his fight was not against the Tsars. He killed the Tsars, and basically that system collapsed almost immediately. Right. His fight was against, there was the Bolsheviks against the Mensheviks. And the Mensheviks were the softer, be nice, you know, kind of work, work along, don't kill everybody who's not your friend. The Bolsheviks were, we kill all of our opponents, and we, put, we instill fear to eliminate in all opposition. Guess that who was won. the Lenin position. Guess who won, the vicious people or the nice people? Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> obvious who won. And, and, and so you have a, so when she goes off and she says that you, if you're, we don't need black voices that are not speaking for, you know, black. She, what she's saying is she's a Bolshevik who, will, who, who wants to suppress 
speech, even by those who disagree with her in small measure. And that's what's being embraced by the so-called squad and by Nancy Pelosi, who's defending them. Right. No, was, I, th I think it's kind of amazing. You know, you watch, um, you know, Ilhan Omar, for example, this is a person who, uh, you know, allegedly married her brother, committed uh, immigration fraud. She, we know that she has used campaign finances to um, hide some of these things, uh, you know, for personal expenses, in other words, not for actually for uh, it's just very weird. And none of this gets covered. None of this is even interesting to the press. And yet um, these people are viciously anti-American. Um, it is true. They just they, they hate America. You can tell they don't talk like people who love America. Now, to love America, you don't have to believe America is perfect because it's not. I mean, we're made up of 320 million Americans. If, if America was perfect, we wouldn't have a show because we wouldn't be talking about how to improve it. Right. No, exactly. That's well, also, it's just it's made up of people, and nobody's perfect. So guess what? A collection of 320 million people won't be perfect either. But right. but but it's a remarkable country. It's an exceptional country. It's a country that has excelled because it has allowed a tremendous level of freedom and opportunity to just this incredibly broad uh, segment of the population. And as a result, you know, in our country, you it doesn't matter who you are, you can be president. Um, you know, who would have thought that you know? within just a matter of a few generations of uh, ending slavery, we would have a black president. We did. I didn't like the black president. I would have preferred a different black president. I can name a number of people that if they had been elected president as an African-American, I'm excited about because I don't really care what color their skin is. But what it does show is that America is a remarkable place. We don't care that much what color your skin is. That's important, I think. But yet these people um, they're the racists because they're the ones who do care what color your skin is. They they don't, and they also care what color your 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 voice sounds like. Well, and that's the, that's the thing. The Democrats have chosen um, the opposite of the melting pot. They have chosen the balkanization of America, where you have people who are divide themselves and by their hyphen, and not the last word in the hyphen. Polish Americans divide, you know, view themselves as Americans very rapidly after immigrating here um you know it's a we had a it, that was the key italian americans view themselves as americans irish americans view themselves as americans yeah. but you know what they but what we have now is a hyphenation where you're supposed to view yourself by the first word in the hyphen not by the last word yeah. the melting pot is where the the last word is dominant and you hold on to your culture because that's fine that's, that's who we are as, indiv as individuals and people but you still are american first and that's your you know and ultimately that's that's the challenge we face that's the challenge we face with the um with immigration that's the challenge we face with uh, you know with immigration from the south it's a problem we face with the refugees that we brought in from the middle east um, remember Ilion omar was a was a refugee in a refugee camp in Kenya because the place she lived was so dangerous that they had to flee for their lives. And then she came here and she went through our education system. But she was in an enclave of other Somalis throughout the whole time. And guess what? She then comes out and attacks the US troops that were in Mogadishu attempting to get food the people were being starved out by the warlords, right. and she attacks us as the aggressor. The people were trying to feed the people who she, who she, basically the people who she would have been one of if not for being in a refugee camp. And you know, so at the, I don't know how anybody in their right mind can can sit there and think that she's anything less than the most ungrateful person in the entire history of the world. And when she attacks our country, I, it, I. Agree with President Trump. I mean, if she doesn't like it, she'd go home. Yeah, no, so, I, I, I agree as well. So. I think uh, it's funny that that's become a racist message. Um, I, I don't buy into that. I've heard that since I was a kid. Um, growing up in the 60s, there were bumper stickers that said that, and yet somehow all of a sudden today it's a racist message. I think it's just a pro-American message of stop hating your country. You can love right. your country. You can want to change it, but you can still love it. But when you basically decide that you hate the country and there's nothing good about it, then you're an anti-American, and she clearly is. But 
We're, well, we like are. we're up against the clock. Yes, so we are. We've got to take a break. But you are listening to Conservative Commandos. I'm George Landreth. He's Rick Manning. And we are coming to you on the Conservative Commandos radio network, which is broadcast all across this great nation from sea to shining sea, also on the AUN TV network in California, and carried around the world on Al Gore's amazing internet with TalkStream Live, iHeartRadio, TuneIn. Uh, you name it, we're there. Don't go away. Rick and I'll be right back. Have you been leasing a property for your business or renting storage space? Are you tired of paying rent year after year? Call the experts at General Steel to own a building at up to 30% off now. I've been renting a building and paying someone else's mortgage, but General Steel showed me how I could own a space tailored to the needs of my business and for less than renting. Call General Steel now at the number on your screen for our current building specials and to price your metal building system today. My building's the dream I've had since finishing my house 14 years ago. I've been using it for a garage, workshop, and storage area for my tools and equipment, and I can't believe how great it turned out. The economy is improving, and the price of steel is expected to rise. Stop waiting. It could cost you thousands. Call General Steel now to see how you can own for less than you thought. Stop waiting to start your business or expand your operation. Call General Steel now. Call 877-484-7002. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. 888-431-0562. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The secret war is yours free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. Cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get Dish. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with Dish TV. 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to Dish now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get Dish TV. Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. The AMFM 24-7 Roku channel broadcasts all of our shows on demand. To ensure reliability, we store and stream our content on the same servers as Netflix and Amazon. Our Roku channel is free to use, and anyone owning one of the more than 10 million Roku devices can watch our channel at no cost whatsoever. If you have a television show or are thinking about producing a show, you can be a part of AMFM 24-7's Roku channel. 
Watch our great shows on your Roku device. It's free and more reliable than cable TV. Are you stuck with a timeshare? Did you attend the presentation and were seduced and enticed into buying that great vacation and investment? Now you're in the terrible position of trying to figure out a way to get out of that mess. You're not alone. For over 15 years, BuyYourTimeshare.com has been helping people like yourself get out of timeshare ownership. The fact is there is no resale market. Unscrupulous telemarketers call you and say they have buyers waiting, and the next thing that happens is you give them hundreds of dollars for an ad, and you'll never hear from them again. Another fact is that an identical timeshare to yours is being offered on eBay for a dollar, and no one is buying it. If you want out of your timeshare, I urge you to go to buyyourtimeshare.com or call them at 877-94-HELP-ME. That number again is 877-94-HELP-ME. Buyyourtimeshare.com. That's buyyourtimeshare.com. 877-94-HELP-ME. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos. Rick Manning, America's for Limited Government. George Landreth, uh, Frontiers of Freedom. George, 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 let me ask you a question. It's a very personal question. It's important. How would somebody be able to follow you on Twitter if they wanted to? If they wanted to. Well, we'll pretend they want to, okay? <laughs> I'm talking. Everybody wants to follow you. Everybody, get your yeah. two little so, pencils out. Get them sharpened. George is going to give you vital information. Sure. Well, first, um, just my, the easiest one is probably just my, my name, you know, at G Landreth, L-A-N-D-R-I-T-H, G Landreth, or Glandreth if you put the G on the front. Sounds a little weird. Well-known Glandreth. <laughs> well-known Glandreth. Yeah, that's it. Sounds like a monster out of one of the old yeah. uh, those movies that Makes came out. Makes my tonsils hurt just thinking about it. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm at at R Manning nine five seven at R Manning nine five seven. So now that we got that little business out of the way, if you uh, would like to get a rebroadcast of the show, you know, just go to ccrsnetwork.com or ccrshow.com and, and grab a rebroadcast. We got some really great segments, including the ones coming up, because you know we spent some time talking about some of the kind of problems and, and challenges. Well, you know, America in the 19, late 1950s, early 1960s had a real challenge. We had a Cold War where the Soviet Union had, had stolen our nuclear secrets, um, had nuclear weapons, had them pointed at us, and we were in a race for dominance, and the whole world was watching. The whole world was going to decide capitalism versus communism, and they were looking at who could actually do something. The Russians beat us into outer space. They yeah, they were in the lead. They were in the lead. We you know we were getting when Alan Shepard went up in outer space. Gagarin had already gone around the gone around one the globe once. So we have a so we were behind our in the space race. But we had we had really been experimenting with a lot of the top kind of flight tools and the like the X fifteen a lot of cool things out of the. Uh, out in Edwards Air Force Base in California. I had my, my uh, bedroom was full of all these old jet pictures that were just really cool, fast jets that just went, just were scary to ride, drive. We didn't, we didn't know that a man could go faster than the speed of sound until in the 1950s. There was a theory that people would die. So we're sitting there, and it's, it's 1961, 1962, and John F. Kennedy says, we're going to go to the moon. And seven years later, eight years later, we were on the moon, and this is the 50-year anniversary of being on the moon. This week's being celebrated in Washington, D.C., and, and hopefully throughout the world. Um, and so, George, you know, tell me a little bit, what do you remember about any of that? And, uh, it's, well, I, I, yeah, I can remember, you know, being a kid and watching various moon launches in school. The teacher would stop class. Um, you know, because this was Apollo 11 that actually landed on the moon, but there were a number of flights before that that were preparatory to the actual landing that would have been during the school year at different times. And I just remember, you know, the teacher rolling up on this big cart, this big metal cart, this big tube TV, and we would stop and, um, and, and watch the launch and different things like that or watch them land in the uh, ocean and so forth. And then that summer just being, you know, my mother was big on, uh, you know, playing outside and not spending the day in the house. And, um, but, you know, at those moments, my mother gave me no, no duff, no guff about staying in to watch what was happening on uh, television. And I just remember, you know, Walter Cronkite's voice and different things as, as these amazing things happened. And it was, 
you know, I, as a boy growing up, there was a point at which, you know, you get over wanting to, you know, I, I think I first wanted to be a fireman because I was really, as a three-year-old, thought it was amazing to watch these fire trucks, you know, race past mom and dad as they pulled over. And, right. and uh, you know, I wanted to be a cowboy because I think I'd seen a, you know, John Wayne movie and thought, wow, that's awesome. But, you know, it didn't take long before I wanted to be an astronaut. And, uh, you know, because you, you grow up in the 60s during the space race, and those are big times. And I just... It's, I think you described it well, an amazing time in which American ingenuity was put to the test. And uh, we accomplished something that, you know, the rest of the world, I, I don't know that the rest of the world to this day could land people on the moon right now. And we did it 50 years ago. Yeah, it's, it's a, you know, I remember my dad was an aerospace engineer. Um, he worked on, uh, on some element of the... Um, the rocketry uh, that was that sent us to the moon, um, and you know that was what his job was. Yeah. And we um, and he took me outside. We we were watching it on TV. And it was really amazing um, because you, you know it wasn't just that we were on the moon. We were watching it on TV. Right. I mean, that was like how oh, that was incredible. And so we're sitting there watching it on TV, and you know. And, and I remember my dad taking me outside that evening and pointing up and just look, we were just looking up at the moon and him just saying, men are walking on the moon right now, Rick. Right. Men are walking on the moon right now. Yeah. And, the, and, I, I, and, the, and you could see, you know, the full moon. It was, I don't remember if it was full moon or not. In my mind, it was a full moon. And... It was just awe-inspiring, yeah. awe-inspiring, and no nation has, has had men walk on the moon since then. Now yeah. we we have, we yeah. we we you know, times. and you know, and it wasn't just a, and I want to put this in perspective for people. It took nine years from when we said we're going to get to the moon. That's it took less than nine years. It took eight years. When we said we were going to get to the moon to getting on the moon. In, in California, one county in California, I was told two days ago, one county in California, from the time you decide you want to build a single family home to when you're able to put a shovel on the ground, takes nine years. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> to build so, a house. So we, so, so America. Been for thousands of years. Uh, uh, yes. America figured out. All the science to be able to do it. We have we have this this cell phone has more computing power than the NASA scientists had at their at their disposal. Right. Yeah. One of the one of the funniest things in the as I recall from uh, you know the movie uh, with uh, Tom Hanks where he's leading people on a tour. He points out that this you know this is the building where they have the computer. Right. And, you know, and it's like you know we don't need buildings anymore to house a computer. And oh, by the way, it's largely because of the space program, mm -hmm. um, because the miniaturization became very important, right. and that and that progress towards miniaturization is what we what caused us to move away from the traditional um, transistors that um, that were developed in the in the 40s and 50s, or I guess in the 30s, 40s by William Shockley, and you know moved us towards the chip technology that allows for all this to happen now. So you know you get down to it. And, and the, it was very popular in the 60s and the left to say things like, well, what do we have to get out of the space program? We need to cut the space program because we don't get anything out of it. We're just busy, you know, exploring and wasting our time. You know what? All those idiots who said that in the 60s and 70s, I want them to be banned from having one of these. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is 50 years later what we got out of the space program. It wasn't just the exploration. It was the science that then ended up creating so many applied sciences off of it that our world fundamentally changed because of it. Yeah. And, it and it's not just space sticks or space ice cream, which you can buy at the Air and Space Museum. Um, and, and so, or Tang. Or Tang, for that matter, which <laughs> was... And, and all those things really were discouraging kids from wanting to be astronauts, by the way. <laughs> um, because they weren't very tasty, but <laughs> yeah. nonetheless, nonetheless, the so when we look up the moon fifty years later, 
I, I, I just encourage you, if you, if you take your kid out, take your grandkid out, take your great grandkid out, and look at the moon, and tell them the story of how it affected you when we walked on the moon. Yeah. Share that generational pride, because you know what? That's what we've had so many people say bad things about America. We have so many people focusing on on crazy stuff. We sit there and we shake our heads because we know what America is. America is the country that set its mind to walk on the moon and did in less than a decade. That's what America is. Yeah. And that's what America can be. And that's why I'm so glad that we're celebrating this 50th anniversary of, of uh, the walking on the moon because it's time for us to remember who we are. Yeah. And this should be a great reminder. I know, George, I totally agree. George, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Where were you last week? <laughs> last week, well, I was. I'm gonna tell, and I know we don't have much time before the break, but I forgot that George was going on vacation. Okay, I will admit, I forgot that George was, <laughs> and I'm busy going, you know, trying to trying to get him, and it's like, George, George, where are you? And he's like, uh, I'm on vacation. I'm like. So last week was kind of a uh, scramble, and I hope we came off with it okay. But George, where were you on vacation? Um, I was with my family. My wife's family had a family reunion um, on the border of Idaho and Utah at a place called uh, Bear Lake. Then I, after that, I left uh, to go to Denver to speak at the uh, Conservative Leadership Summit. And in fact, my interview today is not really an interview. I'm going to share uh, a speech I gave on PETA and all the things they're doing to make our healthcare less market based and shut down uh, future development of me medicines and so forth. So, absolutely. So, but we are up against the break. So with that, I'll say you're listening to Conservative Commandos. He is Rick Manning. I'm George Landreth. And of course, we're coming to the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, the AUN TV Network, and on Al Gore's Amazing Internet. Don't go away. We'll be right back with my speech, the Conservative Leadership Summit in Denver. And then Rick and I'll be back live again. Have you been leasing a property for your business or renting storage space? Are you tired of paying rent year after year? Call the experts at General Steel to own a building at up to 30% off now. I'd been renting a building and paying someone else's mortgage, but General Steel showed me how I could own a space tailored to the needs of my business and for less than renting. Call General Steel now at the number on your screen for our current building specials and to price your metal building system today. My building's the dream I've had since finishing my house 14 years ago. I've been using it for a garage, workshop, and storage area for my tools and equipment, and I can't believe how great it turned out. The economy is improving, and the price of steel is expected to rise. Stop waiting. It could cost you thousands. Call General Steel now to see how you can own for less than you thought. Stop waiting to start your business or expand your operation. Call General Steel now. Call 877-484-7002. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. 888-431-0562. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. 
Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The secret war is yours, free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. Cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get Dish. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with Dish TV. 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to Dish now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get Dish TV. Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. The AMFM 24-7 Roku channel broadcasts all of our shows on demand. To ensure reliability, we store and stream our content on the same servers as Netflix and Amazon. Our Roku channel is free to use, and anyone owning one of the more than 10 million Roku devices can watch our channel at no cost whatsoever. If you have a television show or are thinking about producing a show, you can be a part of AMFM 24-7's Roku channel. Watch our great shows on your Roku device. It's free and more reliable than cable TV. Are you stuck with a timeshare? Did you attend the presentation and were seduced and enticed into buying that great vacation and investment? Now you're in the terrible position of trying to figure out a way to get out of that mess. You're not alone. For over 15 years, BuyYourTimeshare.com has been helping people like yourself get out of timeshare ownership. The fact is there is no resale market. Unscrupulous telemarketers call you and say they have buyers waiting and the next thing that happens is you give them hundreds of dollars for an ad and you'll never hear from them again. Another fact is that an identical timeshare to yours is being offered on eBay for a dollar and no one is buying it. If you want out of your timeshare, I urge you to go to buyyourtimeshare.com or call them at 877-94-HELP-ME. That number again is 877-94-HELP-ME. Buyyourtimeshare.com. That's buyyourtimeshare.com. 877-94-HELP-ME. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos, the radio show and also the television show, now thanks to AUN TV Network, and of course carried everyone Al Gore's amazing internet as well as um, our traditional Conservative Commandos radio network all across the nation. I'm George Landreth, of course, and uh, my co-host today, Rick Manning. Um, just, you know, I, I think Rick and I tease the fact that rather than me doing an interview today, I'm going to share with you a speech that I gave in Denver this past week, uh, just a few days ago, actually, in, um, on PETA, the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, and the, some of the things they're doing to harm future healthcare and to make sure that future cures and future treatments are not developed and that we have less safety in our, in our uh, healthcare system. And I think it's worth noting. So with that, I just wanted to kind of let you know that's what I'm gonna do here. We'll watch the first half of the speech right now, and then we will um, take a quick break and we'll come back for the second half of that speech. But here we are in Denver talking about PETA. I want to get into some innovative healthcare issues and how PETA, the people for the ethical treatment of animals um, are making a healthcare innovation much more unlikely. Um, so anyhow, just so we understand, I think sometimes we get this impression like, oh, we've seen most of the computer uh, innovation that's going to take place. We're kind of done with that. We won't see much more in the future. And people who I've talked to who are in the chip business, in the you know, computer, a the uh, artificial intelligence business tell me that's totally wrong. That we are at the very initial stages. It's like we just invented the wheel. And we haven't yet invented ball bearings, and we haven't yet invented the inter internal combustion engine. Someday we'll be you know, building race cars, so to speak. But right now we just have the wheel. And that's what we have in our phones and our computers is this wheel. But there's lots more to be going. The same thing is true in medical technology. 
It, 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 while there's lots of amazing stuff out there, we literally are just at the very beginning of all of this. Whether it's some of the diseases that they're looking at, the approaches they're using, you know, DNA, gene therapies, um, you know, there's all kinds of, you know, immunotherapy, things that they didn't used to think of when, uh, you know, as a boy growing up, as someone had, I can remember when I was younger, that cancer tended to be kind of a death sentence. Um, and now there are so many cancers from which you can uh, be cured. And, uh, and that number is growing all the time. And the number, and, and we don't just use chemotherapy anymore. The point is there's just so much going on. Um, that's good news because you may not have any of those problems this year or next year. But what happens if you have those problems in 10 years? So PETA basically very much wants to get in the way of this and make sure this research that feeds this innovation uh, is slowed down or likely even shut down, quite frankly. Uh, I think shut down is probably the more accurate. So they oppose animal testing. And uh, as one of the ads says, they, referring to the mice here, have saved more lives than calling 911. Um, the National Institutes for Health, uh, they, they provide grants, literally in the thousands of grants every year, that include animal testing. Uh, the Food and Drug Administration requires animal testing. Now, I want to make this clear. We're not taught, everyone loves animals. As a kid growing up, I had a, a, a pet rat. He was a white rat. His name was Max. I, I, I you know, I, I don't want to harm anything, and I don't want to hurt things that, you know, this, that's not who I am. But the reality is, we are not talking about um, putting, you know, talcum powder in, in little bunny rabbit's eyes to see if uh, some rouge or something, uh, uh, you know, irritates their eyes. We're talking about life-saving medications. And we're talking about, and, and so then, just so we understand how this works, we don't just get, someone doesn't come up with an idea and say, hey, I think it'd be really cool if we, uh, you know, what would happen if we injected uh, motor oil into uh, the eyeball? Maybe that would fix uh, glaucoma. It's not how it works. That's not what the, you, the first step of any sort of research is taking currently known and understood things and just working through it and figuring out is this likely to be successful. And obviously, the uh, you know motor oil into the eyeball is not going to pass any test at all. And um, so it's never tested on anyone or anything. But eventually, you work your way up the ladder. And yet, at some point, you have to test the cure that you've come up with after it's passed all sorts of tests and rigorous analysis and, uh, if you will, the um, contrarians looking at your, your theories and so forth at some point. Now, I, I want to make it clear. Ask yourself, what would the morality be of at some point just saying, okay, that's good enough. Now we're just going to, we haven't tested on any living organism, but we're now going to give it to your, your daughter or your son. That's a pretty strange way to do things. But PETA effectively feels that's the, the right approach. I do want to make it very clear. There are some places that use this approach. In other words, they test on human beings, or at least they don't have any legal impediments to doing so. One is China. Uh, they do medical research there. And um, if you're not popular with the government, you get to be the test, the test subject. Um, I don't know if they do a lot of um, medical research in North Korea, but to the extent they do, I can guarantee you they don't worry about uh, whether you're a human or a, or, or a lab rat. Um, I'm not sure that's the model we want to use. So PETA does not want a serious policy discussion because they understand they're going to lose that. And we see this all the time. Pressure campaigns are successful. They work. You know, we could have had in the NFL a serious debate about, uh, you know, the appropriateness of, of all police actions or if there's systematic, uh, you know, injustice or racism in our, you know, we could have that debate and we could look at things and, and that's a reasonable thing to do. I think people of goodwill would be willing to do that. But that's not what was wanted. What was wanted was a pressure campaign and just sort of this, uh, you know, social media sort of uh, stuff that went on. And I, it, it didn't really end up with anything. It just divided people. And I think that's kind of what PETA wants. We know what thoughtful kind of policy discussions look like. It looks like what's happening in this room. We're having a discussion. We're talking about issues. We're getting into them. And uh, we'll soon we'll have questions and answers. We've seen that, that you know, congressional hearings. Now, sometimes they're a bit of a uh, you know, circus car. But, but, but the way they were intended was to be a place where you discuss policy matters and what the implications are. We've seen political debates. But that's not what they want because they realize it won't work very well for them. So they would like to cut off future cures, whether it's for heart disease or cancer or Alzheimer's or diabetes, you name it, they'd like to see those things shut down. 
And um, so let's talk about what their real agenda is. Because I think if you understand who PETA is, you start to realize they don't actually care about animals that much. It's just a ruse to give them power. For example, when, ha when Hamas terrorists were using falcons and donkeys to uh, launch explosives into parts of Israel, um, they first had nothing to say about it. And then when they did, their objection was the harm that was done to the falcons and the donkeys. They didn't actually care one whit that human beings, that school children, that little boys and girls, that moms going to, you know, with their kids to school were the ones being blown up. It was just the harm that was done to these animals. And that took some prodding for them to get involved in. So that that's, gives you one insight. In Virginia, I'm from Virginia, um, they've been charged with uh, cruelty, animal cruelty. In Virginia, their kill rate for a 10-year period, so this isn't cherry-picked, I didn't pick like one quarter, one year. It's a, a decade-long period of time. They killed 95.3% of the animals that were brought to them for adoption. And their, uh, their PETA spokesman uh, quipped, there are fates worse than euthanasia. Okay, sure, 95%. Um, the other thing that's interesting is they admit some of their agenda. They've, the the, the uh, president co-founder was quoted as saying, even if animal research resulted in a cure for AIDS or cancer, we would be against it. Let that thing sink in for just a moment. Wow. Sometimes the left just can't help but tell you what their real agenda is. Generally, they're dishonest and lie to you. But here, they come right out and say it. You know, we can cure cancer. AIDS, diabetes, Lou Gehrig's disease, or ALS, Alzheimer's, you name it. It doesn't matter what the disease is. It doesn't matter how long it's plagued mankind. They're not interested in finding cures. They would rather be the people for the inhumane treatment of humans. Uh, that's it's just, to me, it's stunning. But anyhow, and they come right out and tell you. Uh, and it, like I said, sometimes... They can't help themselves. This is one of those times. But we got to take a quick break. You're listening to Conservative Commandos. I'm George Landreth, and we are coming to you on the Conservative Commandos radio network, which is broadcast all across this great nation from sea to shining sea on traditional broadcast towers. And, of course, you can watch us on television on the AUN TV network in California. And we're carried around the entire world, with the exception of communist China, North Korea, and Iran on Al Gore's amazing internet. And, of course, you can always go to our websites, ccrsnetwork.com and ccrshow.com to get rebroadcasts of either the radio or television show. Don't go away. I'll be right back with the second half of what Pete is up to and what you can do to help stop them. Have you been leasing a property for your business or renting storage space? Are you tired of paying rent year after year? Call the experts at General Steel to own a building at up to 30% off now. I'd been renting a building and paying someone else's mortgage, but General Steel showed me how I could own a space tailored to the needs of my business and for less than renting. Call General Steel now at the number on your screen for our current building specials and to price your metal building system today. My building's the dream I've had since finishing my house 14 years ago. I've been using it for a garage, workshop, and storage area for my tools and equipment, and I can't believe how great it turned out. The economy is improving, and the price of steel is expected to rise. Stop waiting. It could cost you thousands. Call General Steel now to see how you can own for less than you thought. Stop waiting to start your business or expand your operation. Call General Steel now. Call 877-484-7002. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. 
Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The secret war is yours free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. Cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get Dish. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with Dish TV. 877-290-7764. 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to Dish now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get Dish TV. Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. The AMFM 24-7 Roku channel broadcasts all of our shows on demand. To ensure reliability, we store and stream our content on the same servers as Netflix and Amazon. Our Roku channel is free to use, and anyone owning one of the more than 10 million Roku devices can watch our channel at no cost whatsoever. If you have a television show or are thinking about producing a show, you can be a part of AMFM 24-7's Roku channel. Watch our great shows on your Roku device. It's free and more reliable than cable TV. Are you stuck with a timeshare? Did you attend the presentation and were seduced and enticed into buying that great vacation and investment? Now you're in the terrible position of trying to figure out a way to get out of that mess. You're not alone. For over 15 years, BuyYourTimeshare.com has been helping people like yourself get out of timeshare ownership. The fact is there is no resale market. Unscrupulous telemarketers call you and say they have buyers waiting and the next thing that happens is you give them hundreds of dollars for an ad and you'll never hear from them again. Another fact is that an identical timeshare to yours is being offered on eBay for a dollar and no one is buying it. If you want out of your timeshare, I urge you to go to buyyourtimeshare.com or call them at 877-94-HELP-ME. That number again is 877-94-HELP-ME. Buyyourtimeshare.com. That's buyyourtimeshare.com. 877-94-HELP-ME. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos, the radio show and now the television show, thanks to AUN TV Network and, of course, carried everywhere on Al Gore's amazing Internet. And, of course, if you want to get a rebroadcast of our show, just go to our website, ccrsnetwork.com, ccrshow.com, and there you can get everything you need, the television or the radio version, whatever your pleasure. But I'm really glad you stuck through the break because uh, this is going to be the second half of the speech I gave at the Conservative Leadership Summit in Denver where I was speaking about PETA and what they're doing to make sure that we don't find cures to diseases that have plagued mankind since the very beginning. So at the end, we're going to talk about what you can do to help stop PETA's horrible, horrible anti-human agenda. So let's get back to Denver. Um, so here's what they're up to. Um, if you notice the bottom box here, PETA is responsible for the fact that these animals are no longer kept in cages. 
It used to be when I was a boy, if you bought Barnum, Barnum's Animal Crackers, they were like in circus cars, you know, cages like on, you know, for trains. Thanks to PETA, these animals have been freed. <laughs> these cartoon animals have been freed. So anyhow, I mean, I, th this helps you understand. But they have this pressure campaign. They want to make sure that airlines do not transport test animals, animals that are used in testing. Um, because normally, you, you, you need to get, you, you can't just get, kind of go to a pet shop and pick up some rats. You actually need to know something about the rats. You need to have, um, so you get them from people who have raised the rats for this purpose, so we understand, you know, they're healthy rats. All the different things you want to exclude so that your test is actually valid. Um, and, and, and so they have uh, been fairly successful in getting airlines to say we won't do that. I want you to realize though, put some context here. If you need a comfort animal on the plane, that's A-OK. -okay. And I don't just mean um, a mouse or a cat or a dog. I mean peacocks, pigs, ducks, roosters, turkeys, kangaroos, miniature horses. Um, so the airlines have been caving into all this. So on the one hand, we don't want any lab animals below deck where you don't see them, you don't deal with them, you don't even know they're there. But you can be, have the privilege of sitting next to somebody with their comfort pony. And, uh, and somehow this is supposed to make sense. So, you know, I just want you to let that sink in for a moment. I, I'm sure that this, uh, I don't know if it's the man or the woman who's having the pony with them. But, but I, don't, I don't know. That would, dis, that would disconcert me. I'll, I'll give you another example. My daughter is actually very allergic to cats and dogs. To the point, I don't mean it like it makes her sneeze. I mean, it can make her have to go to the emergency room type reaction. So imagine she pays for a ticket. She, she's, you know, she's 5'10". My wife and I are both relatively tall. So she may actually purchase one of the extended, uh, you, know, you know, three extra inches of space for your knees. She's sitting there. Someone comes in with their uh, comfort pony, their comfort dog, whatever. And then she's told that um, it's mean and inconsiderate of her to not be happy to be sitting next to a dog or cat, which means when she gets off the plane, she, instead of going to wherever she was going, she gets to go immediately to the emergency room. Or they'll move her from the seat that she's paid extra money for. It's kind of like, what? what? But, 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 we, but airplanes and airlines don't want to help uh, with research and they don't want to be involved in that. So just a few more pictures to give you an idea of kind of what we're talking about. This is the crazy world that PETA creates. This is what happens when the inmates run the asylum. So the law actually prevents this from happening. Believe it or not, a common carrier is not allowed to discriminate. That discrimination principle doesn't just apply to racial groups. You know, it won't, you, you're probably not going to be surprised to find out that you couldn't just, you know, if you're going to sell tickets to people, you can't say, well, but I won't sell it to you because I don't like, you know, the color of your skin or whatever. You can't do that. But it also, it means that if you'll fly somebody's dog or cat so they can be comforted, you should be also then willing to fly other dogs and cats or other an like animals for other reasons. Um, and uh, so we're hoping that they'll do something about this. The law is actually quite clear. We have a, a, you know, a, now more than a decade of experience where the law requires there to be um, this non-discrimination principle for common carriers. And airlines clearly are common carriers. So um, now why do they give in to these tactics? The answer is really clear. They want to avoid negative press. So why do they let somebody bring on their comfort pony? It's because they don't want to get, see the tweets about how mean the airline is and how insensitive they were to this person who's had some traumatic experience in their life. And so that becomes an exercise in, isn't the airline industry just evil? They're just mean-spirited people. Uh, the same thing is true with the, 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 uh, with the uh, animal uh, research issue. You get a point where they don't want to have PETA spending a million dollars telling everyone how they're torturing animals. Because that's what they claim. If you ever, if you want to Google it, you can look it up. It's disgusting. They, 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 they act as if doing legitimate research is the same thing as like taking animals and just, you know, literally torturing them, pulling them apart, burning them alive, all kinds of crazy stuff. It's just, and there are pictures that they, where they suggest that, but it's of course fabricated. Um, now this medical testing is needed. I want to make it clear that it. 
if you, I've read the papers, I don't want to read them to you because it'd be too boring. Some of them are medical journals. But you have medical experts, medical ethicists point out that the animal research is A, required, and B, it's ethical. And, um, and it's just, a, you know, like I, I ask you this, would you be willing, if you had a grandchild with leukemia, to give them a medicine that they've run some computer models on and they think it might work, it's very promising, but they've never tested it on any living organism at all. Would you be prepared to do that? Because I would not. And, um, and that's, I think, what they're asking us to do. They, they tell us that there's other ways to do it, but they don't bother to tell us how. Now, um, you have to understand, medical testing is mandated by law. And it's because of the moral reason. We don't want people rushing medicines to, into the, uh, the, you know, the stream of commerce that we don't have high level of confidence about. And I understand the whole idea of you know, right to try, particularly if you're, you know, fa I'm not arguing against any of that. I'm arguing that for the rest of us who are not in a position where we are facing imminent death, we'd actually like to have confidence in our medicines. We'd like to know, and we don't want to be the test rat, right? But at any rate, um, just so we understand, though, these, they're highly regulated, and on top of that, you have a, a medical ethicist to oversee these processes. So it's not like it's some rogue process, and yet that's the way PETA talks about it. Now, I'll just give you a quick example. United Airlines recently announced it would no longer transport research animals, okay? Yet its CEO is the recipient of a heart transplant. Both the technology to transplant organs and the drugs that cause the body to not reject the organ were made possible by animal research. Thank you, Carlos. I mean, that's just, this is what happens when crazy people make public policy. But, um, so, you know, I, um, you know, you think about this, airlines win kudos for giving children in need of special medical treatment uh, free airline transportation to perhaps a Mayo Clinic or some specialized hospital that provides treatment that they need. At the same time, they're trying to make darn sure, in many cases, that there is no further development of the medicines these same children may need. Again, that's the insanity that PETA stands for. So, bottom line is, um, when you make public policy kind of at the demand of the most extreme, almost insane group of people, you end up with this sort of uh, idea where something is eminently good, like curing horrible diseases, is labeled bad. And um, again, it's just, it's, uh, to me, it, it makes me scratch my head. I, I have to say I'm almost surprised we have to have this discussion because it just seems so self-evidently silly, and yet they've picked up a lot, of speed, a lot of speed on this issue. A number of airlines will not do it. So, um, you know, we, we have to stop them, and I think the, the, the real thing here is maybe if airlines were more courageous, they'd be willing to take them on, but the fact is um, they have to make a profit, and it's hard to make a profit if somebody's saying a million dollars that you're immoral. You've seen every time someone's taken off a flight, it becomes a major news event. And in some cases, they may have, maybe they shouldn't have, maybe they should have been. But you can imagine what the, the fear the airlines have. So we hope the Department of Transportation will start requiring this non-discrimination principle as a matter of law. Just say, I'm sorry, you can't tell certain racial groups they can't travel, and you can't tell certain types of animals that they can't travel. Same idea. But at any rate, so what can you do? Contact your congressmen, your senators. That's what we have to do here. Let them know we want the DOT, Department of Transportation, to, to uh, really work on this issue and make sure that we are um, making sure that the next generation of medicines, the next generation of cures, the next generation of transplant technology, all these sorts of things are not stopped because PETA is out of their mind. Well, we're up against the break, but uh, now you know what you need to do to stop PETA. Get a hold of your congressman. Make sure they know that enough of this craziness. Enforce the law. Make sure that America does not lose its opportunity to cure these terrible diseases. You're listening to Conservative Commandos. I'm George Landreth, and I'll be right back with Rick Manning momentarily. Don't go away. Rick and I will be right back. Have you been leasing a property for your business or renting storage space? Are you tired of paying rent year after year? 
Call the experts at General Steel to own a building at up to 30% off now. I'd been renting a building and paying someone else's mortgage, but General Steel showed me how I could own a space tailored to the needs of my business and for less than renting. Call General Steel now at the number on your screen for our current building specials and to price your metal building system today. My building's the dream I've had since finishing my house 14 years ago. I've been using it for a garage, workshop, and storage area for my tools and equipment, and I can't believe how great it turned out. The economy is improving, and the price of steel is expected to rise. Stop waiting. It could cost you thousands. Call General Steel now to see how you can own for less than you thought. Stop waiting to start your business or expand your operation. Call General Steel now. Call 877-484-7002. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. 888-431-0562. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The Secret War is yours free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. Cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get Dish. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with Dish TV. 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to Dish now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get Dish TV. Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. The AMFM 24-7 Roku channel broadcasts all of our shows on demand. To ensure reliability, we store and stream our content on the same servers as Netflix and Amazon. Our Roku channel is free to use, and anyone owning one of the more than 10 million Roku devices can watch our channel at no cost whatsoever. If you have a television show or are thinking about producing a show, you can be a part of AMFM 24-7's Roku channel. Watch our great shows on your Roku device. It's free and more reliable than cable TV. Are you stuck with a timeshare? Did you attend the presentation and were seduced and enticed into buying that great vacation and investment? Now you're in the terrible position of trying to figure out a way to get out of that mess. You're not alone. For over 15 years, BuyYourTimeshare.com has been helping people like yourself get out of timeshare ownership. The fact is there is no resale market. Unscrupulous telemarketers call you and say they have buyers waiting 
and the next thing that happens is you give them hundreds of dollars for an ad and you'll never hear from them again. Another fact is that an identical timeshare to yours is being offered on eBay for a dollar and no one is buying it. If you want out of your timeshare, I urge you to go to buyyourtimeshare.com or call them at 877-94-HELP-ME. That number again is 877-94-HELP-ME. Buyyourtimeshare.com. That's buyyourtimeshare.com. 877-94-HELP-ME. Conservative commandos are back. We are back and better than ever. And George, that was a great speech. You know, PETA, you know, the only thing PETA is any good for is Hollywood women thinks it's a great idea to strip down based on uh, based on supporting. I don't know what that's about, but apparently uh, they're anti-cotton or something. But the but you know, so we see that all the time, and, and I don't know if that's so unusual or even that great, but. It is their one, their one redeeming factor, as far as I can tell. <laughs> uh, you know, if you want to get a rebroadcast, if you like to grab George's speeches, those are great. It's a great speech. You know, just go ahead and uh, go to the ccrsnetwork.com or ccrshow.com and grab that speech. And, and you know, it's two segments there in the middle. So you'll be able to just grab it and, and you can share it with people just, you know, so they'll get the experience. And, get, and particularly if any of your young people think the PETA might be cool. Um, fact is, they're not, they're dangerous. Um, so, That's the truth. Um, and also, obviously, like us, friend us, on, follow us on Facebook, Twitter. Just look for the Conservative Commandos. You know, George, uh, this time of uh, this time of the show, we typically do something where we try to pick out pick a few personalities who maybe people haven't heard of, maybe they have, um, and talk a little bit about what they've been up to this week. And sometimes it's informative, sometimes it's being sarcastic. Uh, tell me what what. Who do you have in mind for for me as the first one? Well, I'm going to try to give you somebody serious. I'll try not to be too, with this one. Um, and that would be Senator Mike Lee. Ooh. Senator Mike Lee. Senator Mike Lee from Utah. Um, he is uh, he's on the Judiciary Committee. He's a, he's a guy who um, is serious about trying to cut the size and scope of government. And I, I particularly appreciate him because as the head of Americans for Limited Government, um, he's one of those guys who's actually trying to do just that. And he introduced some legislation uh, this past week, which um, is uh, take, they call the Take Care Act. And he's become increasingly frustrated by these senior level managers in the federal government who seem to try to um, throw, put their political views um, into play, writing regulations and doing other things like that without having the actual political, the people who are appointed by the president, who have to be confirmed by the uh, Senate, who actually the pres by a president who was elected by the people, so there's unelected bureaucrats writing regulations and writing guidances and effectively running the government free and clear from the elected the elected officials. And so he is uh, he's trying to deal with that. And the Take Care Act is something that we should all get behind. It reminds uh, me a little bit of the Merit Act. I know you've been involved in that. Uh, the Merit Act it does. It's the Merit Act's a little different in that it, it makes it easier to. It provides for an expedited uh, process for firing people who are who are either lazy, recalcitrant, or or just incompetent. And that way, and the Merit Act came about to try to get rid of a lot of the VA upper level VA staff and Veterans Administration staff who were really ignoring um, the crisis of the veterans health centers and leaving veterans to die on waiting lists rather than try to get them an appointment. So it was a so the Merit Act comes out of that. It, it's part of the VA now is being implemented, but it's uh, that bill itself is uh, by Senator David Perdue, Georgia, um, and Barry Loudermilk, also from Georgia in the House. So those are two bills that make the sen make sense of trying to get our arms around the swamp. And Mike Lee is doing a great job of trying to fight the swamp. I'm going to give you one of somebody who just may be the craziest person who we talked about today and remember we've talked about AOC and Ilhan Omar. So we're talking about a pretty crazy crowd. So if you we haven't, we that. haven't, you know, we haven't, but this person is, is incredible. Yale professor Emily Jane O'Dell. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> um, so she is, um, yeah, professor at Yale and she has uh, come out and said that the um, average citizen in the Soviet Union during the height of the Cold War, like say when 
you know, Joseph Stalin was leading the nation, that, that those people were better off than Americans are today living in Donald Trump's America. And she claims that she has done hundreds of interviews with people living in Eastern Europe, Eastern Bloc countries that remember the days of Stalin and Khrushchev and so forth. And again, during that space race, the height of the Cold War, that, that time frame, and that they all claim they were much better off than um, Americans are now under Donald Trump. Now, she says 100%, by the way, she says every single person she's ever talked to confirms that this is true. So I don't think you can get 100% of the people to confirm if you were standing in pouring rain that it's wet out because somebody's wow. going to disagree. You know, I mean, so it's just, I mean, th this woman's I, both, she's a liar, she's a lunatic, and um, I just... It's one thing to say that you think America should have more social services or more welfare. You know, I don't agree with that, but that's but this woman is so crazy. She would argue that a totalitarian regime that killed more people than basically everybody except for the communist Chinese, more than Hitler, more than Pol Pot, that the people that lived under that regime and starved under that regime we're better off than Americans today economically under Donald Trump in the really roaring and raging economy that we have now. Just yeah, the, I, she's a lunatic. Yeah, as I was going to say, the tens of millions of people killed by Stalin were unavailable for comment. Yeah. So it's a, uh, <laughs> exactly. you know, it, it, and, but she is a professor at Yale University. Yeah. So when you send your child to a, and they, and they spend their whole life trying to get to an Ivy League school, just know that Professor Emily Jane O'Dell yeah. is waiting there to help them learn yeah, about yeah. what about waste, what a big waste of your money. Yeah. Um, the um, I'm going to give you one, um, Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, I think most people know who he is. He's a guy who's pretty wealthy, million, uh, multi-millionaire who. Um, has a plane, and apparently he is um, he has been arrested for uh, having sex with and with underage girls, um, also for human trafficking. Um, he's he is innocent until proven guilty. Um, he was convicted in the past for similar type activity, um, and the the real reason he matters is because. Uh, Bill Clinton and a number of other politicians, almost basically all on the left, um, are, are at least identified as people who took plane rides to the um, island that he was holding sex slaves. Yeah. And there's no other way to put it. And, and, and I don't know why. Slaves. I can't like tell you why, why Bill Clinton was going to the island with sex slaves. 26 times. 26 times. Six times where he ditched his, his Secret Service to go, um, but I, so I can't really report why he was going or uh, these other people were going. I do know that Donald Trump does show up one time on the on the flight log, on a flight from Palm Beach where they both lived to New York where they also had houses. Right. Not and to so, the island. Not to the island. And secondly, we know that Donald Trump, because this is what the left's trying to do, and this is why Epstein matters. The left's trying to make this a Donald Trump scandal. And it's not. Yeah. Donald they met Trump twenty-seven years. They met twenty-seven years ago, and that Donald time, Epstein was not convicted of anything. So he was just some rich guy that Donald Trump met at a party. And Donald Trump got wind that Epstein had abused a girl at the Mar-a-Lago property, and Donald Trump barred him from the property. Said, "You will not be doing that here," and never allowed him to come back to Mar-a-Lago. So Donald Trump actually is the guy who stood up to him in the Palm Beach Society and said you excommunicated him from one of the biggest party scenes. In, in, and, and so you sit there and just go, watch this, because the left is going to try to turn this into something about Donald Trump. Yeah. And, it is a, and he is the hero in the story. That's the pro, that, but there, that, you'll never hear that from the mainstream media, but just yeah. know. This is a. This guy is a bad guy. Hopefully, he's going to go to jail for a long time. If proven guilty, he'll he'll go to jail for a long time. But the real politics of this is they're going to try to turn this into a Donald Trump scandal, 
I didn't say anything about that. And they'll gloss over Bill Clinton's 27 trips there when Donald Trump doesn't have a single trip to the uh, special island getaway, sure. whatever that place was. It sounds like a hellhole, but, you know. Well, we are against the clock, so we better take our, uh, our break here. We've got to pay the bills and so forth. But you're listening to Conservative Commandos. I'm George Landreth. He's Rick Manning, and we are coming to the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, which, of course, is broadcast all across this great nation. Most recently, we added a station in the Washington, D.C. area, Virginia, Maryland. So to those listeners, shout out. Thanks for tuning in. And, of course, we're also on the AUN TV network in California. And so thanks for watching and bearing with seeing this and that, you know. <laughs> and then, of course, we are always carried on Al Gore's amazing Internet, except for probably in Iran, North Korea, and China. But everywhere else, we're there. We truly are everywhere. Don't go away. Rick and I'll be right back. Have you been leasing a property for your business or renting storage space? Are you tired of paying rent year after year? Call the experts at General Steel to own a building at up to 30% off now. I'd been renting a building and paying someone else's mortgage, but General Steel showed me how I could own a space tailored to the needs of my business and for less than renting. Call General Steel now at the number on your screen for our current building specials and to price your metal building system today. My building's the dream I've had since finishing my house 14 years ago. I've been using it for a garage, workshop, and storage area for my tools and equipment, and I can't believe how great it turned out. The economy is improving, and the price of steel is expected to rise. Stop waiting, it could cost you thousands. Call General Steel now to see how you can own for less than you thought. Stop waiting to start your business or expand your operation. Call General Steel now. Call 877-484-7002. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. 888-431-0562. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The secret war is yours free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. Cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get Dish. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with Dish TV. 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to Dish now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get Dish TV. Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. The AMFM 24-7 Roku channel broadcasts all of our shows on demand. 
To ensure reliability, we store and stream our content on the same servers as Netflix and Amazon. Our Roku channel is free to use, and anyone owning one of the more than 10 million Roku devices can watch our channel at no cost whatsoever. If you have a television show or are thinking about producing a show, you can be a part of AMFM 24-7's Roku channel. Watch our great shows on your Roku device. It's free and more reliable than cable TV. Are you stuck with a timeshare? Did you attend the presentation and were seduced and enticed into buying that great vacation and investment? Now you're in the terrible position of trying to figure out a way to get out of that mess. You're not alone. For over 15 years, BuyYourTimeshare.com has been helping people like yourself get out of timeshare ownership. The fact is there is no resale market. Unscrupulous telemarketers call you and say they have buyers waiting, and the next thing that happens is you give them hundreds of dollars for an ad, and you'll never hear from them again. Another fact is that an identical timeshare to yours is being offered on eBay for a dollar, and no one is buying it. If you want out of your timeshare, I urge you to go to buyyourtimeshare.com or call them at 877-94-HELP-ME. That number again is 877-94-HELP-ME. Buyyourtimeshare.com. That's buyyourtimeshare.com. 877-94-HELP-ME. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos. Rick Manning, George Landreth, Americans for Limited Government, Frontiers of Freedom. If you'd like to follow us, uh, the Conservative Commandos, on Facebook, Twitter, all those things, just look for the Conservative Commandos and give us a follow. Um, you know, share the, uh, we always have the, the content up on Facebook, so just share it so your friends can see it. And we really do appreciate your listenership, your viewership. It's a, uh, you know, George and I have a lot of fun talking, and we, we've become great friends doing this. Um, but, you know, it was a, uh, it, it's just, we wouldn't be doing it without you. So thank you very much for, for joining us. And George, we're going to talk a little bit about the campaign, about the president's speech and all that. But I'm going to throw you a curveball, first of all. You and I were at the White House together on Wednesday. And uh, or was it Tuesday? It was, I don't remember when it was. Um, sometime earlier in the week, we were, in the, we were at the White House. Um, 30 seconds. What's it mean to be, actually get to be at the White House? How does it make you feel? You know, it's interesting because um, there was an eight-year period when I, was, when I was never invited to the White House. You know, I, I went to the White mm -hmm. House during the Who Bush was that? Years. Huh? Yeah. I'll, I'll leave it to your imagination. But, uh, but the reality is um, it's just a wonderful historic place. I mean, you know, th there's these portraits of great American leaders, uh, you know, great presidents, world leaders, actually, not just American leaders. And so much history there. So I, I, when I go to the White House, I have this sense of, um, if you will, pride in my country. Um, you know, I think back on why it's the White House, because it actually started out as a red brick uh, southern mansion looking building. Uh, the British burned it. And because of the burning, it scorched the brick and it looked awful. So they painted it white. And I kind of think to myself, isn't it awesome that, I, you know, out of even that tragedy, uh, we have built this uh, world icon. When you say White House, everyone knows what you're talking about. Well, I don't know that the entire world knows what 10 Downing Street is. But I do know that you can go into, you know, third world countries. And if you say White House, people know what you're talking about. And uh, if you a have white a piece of mail anywhere in the world, it's coming to Washington, D.C. to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Exactly. So anyhow, to me, it's I, just a sense of pride. It was it was awesome to be there. And of course, we were talk we were there. The occasion was to talk about American manufacturing, and so there's on display everything from uh, you know Patriot missile systems to um, you know back backyard barbecues and jams and jellies and knives and you know other manufactured items. It was just a, you know from all fifty states. Very very. Uh, you know, we haven't done this for many, many years. It's first year in my memory that they've done that, but it shows the president's concerned about, you know, American jobs and the ability of, you know, to make things. And it's a great way for people to make a good living, too, quite frankly. We don't all, we, we can't make a living being baristas, all of us. That's not really well, and, I wanted to, and what impressed me was the diversity because there were a lot of small businesses represented. Oh, yeah. And, you know, right. the fact of the matter is most Americans work for small businesses. They don't yeah. work gigantic uh, multinational corporations, and so while 
there were there were Patriot missile batteries. There were Airstreams. Uh, there was a there was a bike company there. There was uh, you know some other some things like that. Uh, motorcycles were there. But there um, were guys but who made school logos out of steel and yeah. and American flag uh, displays out of steel, and they you know probably have uh, you know a factory roughly the size of my garage. But you know, but the, but you're right. That's where there are people selling. There were people there that make jams and jellies. It wasn't yep. all this huge manufacturing. It was, but it was interesting to see the presence focus on uh, on this. You know, the American jobs, Americans yep. making things. Absolutely. But what we were supposed to talk about in this oh, yeah. segment, and I need to get to there, <laughs> yeah. um, because we only have about five minutes left to talk about this presidential campaign. Yeah. You know, let's real quick. Let's just let's break down. I think was it's actually, this a good week. Was this a good week for the president or a bad week for the president? Um, I, I thought it was actually a good week for the president for a couple of reasons, and I think the segue from the White House to this is, and, and that's probably why I think the president focuses on things that matters to Americans. Um, even you know his kind of love it or leave it approach, uh, and people act like that's racism. I I've been hearing love it or leave it since the '60s when I was a boy. It used to be a bumper sticker that uh, I remember my parents had on the back of our car, and there was no racial connotation to it whatsoever. Yeah, zero. And uh, interestingly enough, he didn't mention anything uh, racial or even who he was talking about when he said this. So if nobody had said, oh, he was obviously talking about me, we would be left to our own imagination to figure out who he was talking about. But these people volunteered uh, he was talking about me. So anyhow, but I thought his speech was quite good. Uh, last night, um, I liked a lot of the, uh, the energy I saw there. I felt like he did a pretty good job of explaining why being anti-American is, you know, just a, a bunch of garbage. He, I think he gave good reasons why we should be proud to be Americans. And at the same time, he talked about the things he wanted to change in America, but it was always in the context of what a wonderful place this is, what an amazing place this is, how blessed we are to be Americans. Let's make it a little better. As the opposed that that, to this place stinks. The, the fact that that is, a, um, is controversial. Yeah. Now, both parties used to agree that America is the greatest place on earth. We just want to make it better. Right. And that used to be the consensus. Now, the divergence was how we wanted to make it better. Our, our view, world view in terms of what would mm -hmm. make it better. Right. That's where the divergence was. But it, the, there was consensus that America was the greatest country on earth and we want to make it better. And part of the reason it's the greatest country on earth is because we get to have a discussion every two years about how to make it better on the congressional level and on the presidential level every four years about how to make it better. And so that was, one of the, once again, a consensus of why, one of the reasons it was best in the world. So we have this, but now we have, we have this sense on the left that Thomas Jefferson was evil, that, that the founders were evil. And, and we didn't get to this name, but it, and I, and I didn't want to because quite honestly, it makes me mad. The mayor of Charlottesville, after they took Thomas Jefferson's birthday down as being a holiday, said, I'm sure he's celebrating it in hell. I mean, that is, that is the left in a nutshell. Right. They hate everything about our country. And the fact that they aren't willing, the people on the Democratic Party side are not willing to stand up and fight against this crazy that's taken over their party should be a warning sign to every single person who even thinks that the Democrats might be an alternative. Because what you have to embrace is that America, that Thomas Jefferson was evil, that America itself is evil at its core, and it isn't any longer... Beto said that we were founded on white supremacy. Well, you know? and, 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 I mean, this is, this is now commonplace in there, is that our founding... Uh, was by awful, evil people who believed awful, evil things, and our country, therefore, is flawed in a very fundamental way. And I just, you know, wow. Yeah, it's a denial of, a, of American, not only a denial of American exceptionalism, it's a denial of America's right to exist. Yeah. And it is a, and it has taken hold amongst uh, Democratic po political candidates. And the fact that That's there's the a, mainstream there's, view now. there's only few of those of those Democratic candidates who would reject that is somewhat amazing. You, you go back to our, our squad um, that we talked about at the top of the show. You know, one the of them would squad. one of them wouldn't denounce Al Qaeda. Another one, none of them would denounce the bombing. Somebody trying to blow up an ICE facility 
um, an Antifa person trying to blow up an ICE facility and firebomb it. You know, what we've basically at, been calling for that anyhow. I mean, if you listen to their rhetoric, he was he was answering their call. He was answering their call. In fact, he quoted uh, AOC in his uh, in his manifesto. So that's what we have, folks. We have a, a, a serious situation, and it's a um, it's a situation that we're going to have to deal with head on. But let's not go into this blindfolds on. These people hate America, and if you love America, they hate you. Yeah. And I don't like saying that, but that's just the truth. And it's the sad truth. But, you know, and that's why I think it was a good week for Donald Trump, because it's clear to me that he wants to run against these guys because running against them is uh, is uh, makes his job much easier because they are self-evidently lunatics. But we are up against the clock. I know you've got a great interview coming up, which I am looking forward to. And me too. Uh, I know our listeners are as well. So with that, I just want to bid my uh, fond adieu to the, to our audience and, and encourage them to stick around so that they can uh, hear what's coming up next with you and your guests. But you are listening to Conservative Commandos. I'm George Landreth. He's Rick Manning. And we are coming to the Conservative Commandos radio network, the AUN TV network, and, of course, on Al Gore's amazing Internet. Don't go away. Rick's going to be right back, and you will not want to miss it. Have you been leasing a property for your business or renting storage space? Are you tired of paying rent year after year? Call the experts at General Steel to own a building at up to 30% off now. I'd been renting a building and paying someone else's mortgage, but General Steel showed me how I could own a space tailored to the needs of my business and for less than renting. Call General Steel now at the number on your screen for our current building specials and to price your metal building system today. My building's the dream I've had since finishing my house 14 years ago. I've been using it for a garage, workshop, and storage area for my tools and equipment, and I can't believe how great it turned out. The economy is improving, and the price of steel is expected to rise. Stop waiting. It could cost you thousands. Call General Steel now to see how you can own for less than you thought. Stop waiting to start your business or expand your operation. Call General Steel now. Call 877-484-7002. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. 888-431-0562. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The Secret War is yours free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. 
cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get DISH. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with DISH TV. 877-290-7764. 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to DISH now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get DISH TV. Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. The AMFM 24-7 Roku channel broadcasts all of our shows on demand. To ensure reliability, we store and stream our content on the same servers as Netflix and Amazon. Our Roku channel is free to use, and anyone owning one of the more than 10 million Roku devices can watch our channel at no cost whatsoever. If you have a television show or are thinking about producing a show, you can be a part of AMFM 24-7's Roku channel. Watch our great shows on your Roku device. It's free and more reliable than cable TV. Are you stuck with a timeshare? Did you attend the presentation and were seduced and enticed into buying that great vacation and investment? Now you're in the terrible position of trying to figure out a way to get out of that mess. You're not alone. For over 15 years, BuyYourTimeshare.com has been helping people like yourself get out of timeshare ownership. The fact is there is no resale market. Unscrupulous telemarketers call you and say they have buyers waiting and the next thing that happens is you give them hundreds of dollars for an ad and you'll never hear from them again. Another fact is that an identical timeshare to yours is being offered on eBay for a dollar and no one is buying it. If you want out of your timeshare, I urge you to go to buyyourtimeshare.com or call them at 877-94-HELP-ME. That number again is 877-94-HELP-ME. Buyyourtimeshare.com. That's buyyourtimeshare.com. 877-94-HELP-ME. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos. I am Rick Manning. George Landers has left the building. and But if you'd hear, like to hear a rebroadcast of today's show, or for more information, please check out our websites, ccrsnetwork.com or ccrshow.com. Please like us, friend us, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Just look for the Conservative Commandos. You know, we, we spent a lot of time talking about um, some positive things today, but also some negative things in terms of uh, the political craziness that seems to be going on with the the squad and, and all that that's happening in the in America and, and you know, we and, and we face difficult times we face real challenging times um, as a result of that and so the, I wanted to have uh, this guest on to talk about um, some things some things you can do at least one or two things you can do um, to stay to st at least stay somewhat safe but also to be able to record what happens. We know that, that every single American should be able to participate in the political process without fear of being attacked, without fear of any kind of, of violence uh, against them. We also know that, that, that the left has basically justified violence against Trump supporters, and they showed it during the uh, 2016 campaign, and they continue to show it throughout the last th two and a half years. So I've invited Diana and CISO on, and she runs, as you can see above her head, spysite.com. Um, and, and so you sit there and you say, what, why would you invite somebody on from spysite.com to talk about this kind, of, this kind of thing? And so Diana, why don't you tell me, what you, you, you've actually got a really, really good idea, and, and I think it makes a lot of sense. So why don't you hit me with it? Thank you, Rich. I, uh, I appreciate being in your show and being able to reach out to your listeners and your viewers as well. Um, well, what we do here at SpySide is, um, is very simple. We enable people to be able to gather evidence of events, whether it be in this particular case, there is a lot of violence that is really hitting our, our country hard in various different places of the country. And we want to empower people to be able to be out there and express their political opinion and uh, just go about their day without having to worry about 
the consequences of being outspoken about how they feel about the various different positions they're going to take. So what the, the tools that we have here are very simple, are things that can be easily worn throughout the day. So for example, I have a couple a couple of examples to show you guys. Okay. Um, for women, we have something like this. It's just a regular fit band, okay? Something that can go right on your wrist and uh, wherever you go, it's going to be always with you. Of course, men can also use it. Um, but this over here can gather audio and video at any given point. And it's something that if a situation turns violent or perhaps you have something great to show, you meet the precedent and you want to capture that whole thing, uh, you can just press a couple buttons and start recording audio and video. Now, when it comes to um, actually gathering your evidence, that's very important because if things do turn violent, sometimes it's just your word and you have to also rely that somebody else might be able to tape whatever is going on but that isn't always the case and uh, if you want to protect yourself you want to make sure that you have as much evidence as possible so we also have a few other things that could be kind of fun to wear and very practical to wear in these rallies uh, we have these sunglasses which as you can see they look just like regular sunglasses there's a camera right here and uh, just like the fit band that I showed you before, this over here can also record audio and video. And they do it so simply that anybody can use them. In fact, um, we have people of all ages and all genders using them throughout the country for various different purposes, some for fun and some for more serious um, purposes that they have. Um, you mentioned the hats uh, before. So we have also this one, which would be ideal. I know it doesn't have your... Uh, your political support is slogan here, but it'd be something really simple that somebody can put a pin, for example, or have it embroidered so that it actually has that message that they want to send out. And as you can see, my hands are free so I can go about my day and enjoy my rally or do whatever it is that I need to do um, while having the ability to gather some evidence in case I need it. So essentially what we're talking about are kind of common sense, things that you might wear anyway, a hat, wear a hat, some sunglasses, a fit band uh, kind of thing. And it's not like you're walking around with a camera or being doing anything like that. And if, if a situation develops, and it could be virtually any kind of situation, we're talking about this in a political context, but if you get in a car accident, you know, or if you get into any kind of circumstance, if you happen to be wearing, if you're wearing this apparel, you have a capacity to kind of chronicle what happened. Um, and, and, you know, life isn't always terrible, obviously. Most, life, most parts of life is boring. And there's joyous moments, there's not joyous moments. But having this kind of uh, capacity, um, sometimes you're fumbling around with your cell phone, you're trying to get it out, can't get the camera open, whatever, and it's a big pain in the neck. And next, before you get your camera open, the event is over. And this, uh, this allows you the opportunity to just be prepared and be able to, if you're going to even a, a family event and you're wearing a, a hat, with, you know, you can sit there and uh, just enjoy the event, not even think about it. And, you know, when, that, when a special moment occurs, you then can uh, trigger the, the camera easily and the kids don't all look back up and get all self-conscious because you're recording. No, you're able to record just because they are, in fact, doing something cute without actually letting them know that you're recording them. So that's, that's a... Uh, and the video is a fantastic thing. And, uh, you know, being able to capture, like you say, with your grandkids, your kids, uh, those moments where they're not self-aware that you're recording, you'd be surprised the kind of footage that you can get. And um, at SpiceNet.com, we have so many different options. We have all kinds of different options that you could wear, things that you can put around the house if you don't want to actually wear something. Um, and they have so many capabilities. Um, people can come to our New York or our New Jersey showroom too and take a look and try them on and see what fits, which is a really great option for people that live near, near our stores to be able to actually physically go there and you know try on a hat or put on the glasses and, and really get some training on how to do this. So when that special moment arrives, um, they're prepared for it and they don't miss it. Uh, yeah, and obviously when you're going to a, uh, you know, our focus, because we're more politically oriented, is going toward to any kind of event. Um, you know, you're, you're minding your own business. You're going to a political event of some sort. You're going to yeah, a concert. Of some, it doesn't matter what. And, you know, if, if, if there are, if you end up in a situation where, uh, their trouble does break out. You you find yourself uh, not isolated, but rather with a real capacity to be able to 
chronicle what occurred and make it so um, if you do have to engage with law enforcement, you have visual evidence and audio evidence of what happened. That's essentially what we're talking about, right? Yes, absolutely. And not only that, but the ability to do it without others noticing sometimes could be a very powerful thing because just like you said before, you could use your phone and while it is kind of clunky to take it out and sometimes you miss the whole thing, um, having something that's hidden could be really, really vital when it's actually a bad situation that you're in. Uh, somebody that is being aggressive and violent, they see you recording with the phone, the next thing they're going to do is they're going to take the phone and they're going to smash it and destroy your evidence. With something like this, that they're not aware that it's a camera, gives you a chance to at least be able to keep whatever happened um, out of the sight of the person that's actually the assailant, so that way you can keep your evidence. Yeah, oftentimes what you see is the the you pull out a phone and the person actually gets more violent as a result of the uh, your attempt to chronicle, and this way you get you have a, uh, a kind of a slyer way of being able to get document what occurred. And while with it, while not escalating the situation by effectively threatening the person through the bringing out of cell phone, so it's a um, now the cell phone is always good to to use for that as an alternative. Um, it also obviously con contacting authorities and the like is valuable. But in, in terms of this, do you have any practical examples of when of this actually being used for this kind of purpose? Uh, sure. Like uh, I mentioned before the rallies, uh, we have people that actually have used uh, some of these technologies in other capacities, but very similar. Um, we have people that use them on, um, for example, for business purposes. But uh, when it comes to um, a public area, um, you could set them up before you walk out of your car. You know, you put your either you wear your watch or you wear your hat or you could do a pin like this, for example, and you turn it on. You go about your day, if you were out at a rally, you would just turn it on, let it record audio and video the whole time. And so if it's a long rally, you might need more than one particular device, but you'll be able to record the whole whereabouts of everything that's transpired. You won't have to worry about pressing buttons or anything like that. And then when it's all over, you can take a look and see what video you have actually gathered and um, make the best of it, tweet it out. Very good. We are, we're up against the break. We're going to come right back and, and talk more about this. It's a, uh, a unique kind of way of being smart as we go about our business and what's become a bra kind of a brave new world. But uh, I'm Rick Manning with Conservative Commandos, and you're, we're coming to you from across the great, all across the country, uh, Conservative Commandos Radio Network. Um, on stations in Florida, California, Pennsylvania, Nevada, Colorado, Wisconsin, Georgia, and the AUN network, which is in uh, Northern California and in the Washington, D.C. area, and carried around the entire world on Al Gore's amazing internet with TalkStream Live, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, American Political Radio, and AM FM 24-7. Don't go away. We will be right back. Have you been leasing a property for your business or renting storage space? Are you tired of paying rent year after year? Call the experts at General Steel to own a building at up to 30% off now. I'd been renting a building and paying someone else's mortgage, but General Steel showed me how I could own a space tailored to the needs of my business and for less than renting. Call General Steel now at the number on your screen for our current building specials and to price your metal building system today. My building's the dream I've had since finishing my house 14 years ago. I've been using it for a garage, workshop, and storage area for my tools and equipment, and I can't believe how great it turned out. The economy is improving, and the price of steel is expected to rise. Stop waiting. It could cost you thousands. Call General Steel now to see how you can own for less than you thought. Stop waiting to start your business or expand your operation. Call General Steel now. Call 877-484-7002. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. 
Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The secret war is yours free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. Cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get Dish. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with Dish TV. 877-290-7764. 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to Dish now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get Dish TV. Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. The AMFM 24-7 Roku channel broadcasts all of our shows on demand. To ensure reliability, we store and stream our content on the same servers as Netflix and Amazon. Our Roku channel is free to use, and anyone owning one of the more than 10 million Roku devices can watch our channel at no cost whatsoever. If you have a television show or are thinking about producing a show, you can be a part of AMFM 24-7's Roku channel. Watch our great shows on your Roku device. It's free and more reliable than cable TV. Are you stuck with a timeshare? Did you attend the presentation and were seduced and enticed into buying that great vacation and investment? Now you're in the terrible position of trying to figure out a way to get out of that mess. You're not alone. For over 15 years, BuyYourTimeshare.com has been helping people like yourself get out of timeshare ownership. The fact is there is no resale market. Unscrupulous telemarketers call you and say they have buyers waiting and the next thing that happens is you give them hundreds of dollars for an ad and you'll never hear from them again. Another fact is that an identical timeshare to yours is being offered on eBay for a dollar and no one is buying it. If you want out of your timeshare, I urge you to go to buyyourtimeshare.com or call them at 877-94-HELP-ME. That number again is 877-94-HELP-ME. Buyyourtimeshare.com. That's buyyourtimeshare.com. 877 877- Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos. I'm Rick Manning. George Landreth is gone for the day, but I'm sure he's listening intently. Um, and if you'd like to hear a rebroadcast of today's show or for more information, please check out our website, ccrsnetwork.com and ccrshow.com. Um, please like us, friend us, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Just look for the Conservative Commandos. And, and folks, I just want to remind you, if you want to grab any of these segments, go to the ccrshow.com. You know, it's a, you know it, and just grab the segment and you can send it to your friends and, and kind of share things with you. So, if, if, for instance, if, if talking here with uh, Diana, who is uh, talking about SpySite.com and some practical tools to kind of uh, be able to create an awareness and allow you to be able to visually document things that are happening around you without being obtrusive. And it's, a, it's kind of a cool idea. And it, and, it, and it is age of really political attacks on people who are um, just trying to go to a rally. Um, it's, it makes sense to try to protect yourself a little bit by having uh, an unobtrusive uh, video device that actually will document what happens 
um, and and doesn't escalate situations like a cell bringing out a cell phone mic. Um, so, having said that, um, Diana is Diana and CISO, SpySide.com. Obviously, if you are interested in the products, go to see, go to SpySide.com. So I think that's why she's got that little sign up there. Um, but uh, Diana, tell us a little bit about how it works and, and kind of how much capacity the, the video cameras have and how one would pull the video, get the video down, how they actually access it after the fact. Sure. Okay, so we have a variety of different cameras um, that work a little bit different. But in general terms, they're all very easy to do. So I can show you. For example, with a watch, which is one of our most popular items for wearable cameras. Um, these over here, and I'm just going to bring it a little closer, you can see. So as you can see, it's a regular watch. It actually tells the time, and then it has these two buttons, which normally on a regular watch would set your time and your, your minutes or your date. Um, these, however, are actually going to set up our camera. So if you were out and about and you needed to start recording, you would just press and hold down this button and then press this button once, and you'd be ready to start recording audio and video on the go. When you had finished, you could either just let it run until the battery runs out, and it would just save the file and stop, or if you wanted to just turn it off yourself, you just do the same button backwards, press, and press and hold down to turn it off. This way you can turn it on and off as the day goes on, and as you need it to, to record specific things that are of interest to you. Now, when it comes to actually removing this video from here so that you can share it, you can save it, you can provide it to law enforcement if necessary, um, all you do is you access a secure compartment, which all of our cameras have a hidden compartment for it. It's the same compartment that you use to actually charge them. So in this case, it's this button over here. So we remove that watch button and it reveals the USB port for this particular camera. At this point, we would just connect our USB cable that came with the camera, connect it to our computer, double click to play any of the files. Um, they're standard format, so you could email them, you could save them onto any other file, uh, you could put them on YouTube, you could send them to whomever you want. They don't need any special software. So it's not, there's no Wi, it's not Wi Fi enabled and, and saves you the hassle of worrying about, gee, is my stuff ending up in the cloud or any of that stuff? It's all a self contained unit and you download it to your computer. And if it turns out there's nothing, you record it, you had it on record, and there's nothing to do, um, I assume you can just wipe it clean. Is that how it works? Correct. Yeah, you would wipe it clean and reuse. Um, for those that are interested in Wi-Fi options, there are Wi-Fi wearable cameras, if that is something of interest. But most people, when they're going out and about, um, they are just going to use something like this because it it's just a lot easier and simpler to use and it gives you more flexibility, especially if you're concerned about your privacy. Um, in terms of how long you can record for, an average wearable cameras will give you about two hours of battery life. If you're able to recharge in between, the memories will allow you to record a full day's worth of video. You just have to recharge in between and then you can download at any point. Got it. So it's, re it's really easy to use, even I can figure it out. And all you're doing is plugging in the US into your uh, computer and downloading it. It's a, Obviously, on your computer, it po po pops up, says you've got a device connected. What do you want to do? And you push the appropriate buttons, and it downloads it. And then you can send it to law enforcement. If you've got some cute video of your grandkids, you can send them off to their parents and put them up on Facebook or whatever you want to do with it. Um, so there's lots of different options in terms of uh, how you use this after the fact. Um, and it's a... I, I, I just think about how often uh, the actual fumbling with the camera get, ends up killing the moment. And this is a great way perhaps to, um, to be able to get those, those really cool moments. It could be anything from your grandchildren to your cats. Um, and it's a uh, get those really cool moments without having, uh, without the fumbling around and actually you're trying to catch, capture the moment serving the purpose of not capturing the moment and breaking the moment. Um, let me ask you, you want to be part of it. Yeah, let me let me ask you a simple question. Does the watch work as a watch? Yes. Okay, so the watch exactly. works as a watch. Okay. They actually work for whatever it is. So the fit band actually works as a fit band. The watch tells the time. Uh, you know, of course the hat works as a hat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, hat works as a hat, really? How, how about that? 
That's amazing. Amazing. A hat that works as a hat. Um, so. But yes, you, you won't be able, you know, if somebody asks you the time, you'll be able to tell them what time it is, which is uh, it's the whole purpose is to be totally undercover in how you're gathering your video. Let, let me tell you, I'm going to tell people a story, okay? And, I, and we've all heard about people being confronted, and, but this is a personal story. And, and so I'm going to take your time, but it goes to what you're talking about. I was having, I, I was having lunch uh, about a month ago. Um, literally across the street from my office. And I, I came in, I was late, I was, I was meeting, and I said, sorry, I was at the White House, and, and I was, I was coming from the White House, and I just couldn't get out of there in time, and so I was about 20 minutes late to the, the lunch. And somebody in the restaurant heard me say this. And I'm wearing a suit, and, you know, I was coming from the White House. I sit down, we're having a conversation about some other things, and all of a sudden this guy comes up, and I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not a small guy, this guy comes up, and he's got two kids. One's probably seven, the other's probably ten, um, two boys. And he's just foaming at the mouth, screaming at me. Now, I didn't talk to him at all. I had no, I, I had no conversation with this guy before. He just comes up and starts screaming at us about how, um, you know, we should die because we support Trump. Okay? That, and literally that was happening in real life across the street from, at a restaurant, uh, that's a chain restaurant, no provocation. And, and so then I, I have to tell you, I did provoke him a little because he went, he started going away as he's screaming, going away. I kind of, I couldn't believe it. So I motioned for him to come back and because I wanted to ask him, I asked him, are you for real? I mean, are you really for real or is this an act? And then he went like totally off the, uh, off the charts and went crazy. And he's like spitting and just, you know, he wasn't spitting like trying to spit in food. He was like just out of control, going wild. And his kids are desperately trying to get him to go to leave and he won't leave because he's freaking out. And that was just because I happened to say it with his earshot that I'd been at the White House. And as a result, he went nuts. So, you know, folks, we're living in a weird world. And, you know, if, if something had happened... In that in that exchange, I wouldn't have had any evidence apart from the testimony of other people who might have been there, and who knows what their what their testimony would have showed or what they would have chosen to say. Um, I would have had no evidence of the insanity that this guy, um, if I you know, and I had none. If I'd been wearing one of these devices, I'd been wearing one of the watch the watch or something. I could have clicked the watch on, recorded this guy. And if worse came, and if it just passed the way it did, and, you know, okay, so the guy was a jerk, and we kind of laughed at him, so it was, we didn't help our cause because we were laughing at him for being a fool. But, you know, it would have been really helpful to have video evidence of that um, if something happened further to show what exactly what precipitated it. And this kind of device would have been a, an exact kind of a way of doing that in an unobtrusive way. So... That's everyday life in my world here in Washington, D.C. And I don't know about your world, but people are getting crazy. And that's why I wanted to have Diana and CISO on to talk about SpySight and perhaps some things you can do to unobtrusively um, videotape the things that are happening around you. Diana, 15, 20 seconds. Um, anything else you want to add? Um, just, you know, hindsight is a terrible thing. It's best to be prepared and not need what you record, but if you can actually go ahead and gather some evidence, you'd be happy you did if you need it. So okay. let us help you. We're here at Spicing.com, New York and New Jersey. We'd be happy to show you around and uh, give you the tools that you need. And it's 845-371-0000. Correct. That's 845-371-0000 for those who are listening and not seeing the video. So SpiceSite.com. Diana and CISO, thank you very much for joining us. I am Rick Manning. Uh, for, on behalf of George Landreth, I'd like to wish you all a great, great week. Between, And we will see you again, or hear, you'll hear from us again uh, a week from now. And remember, guys, you know, freedom is important. But we also have to have a little fun in life. Let's just keep fighting for freedom, but remember to do so with a smile on our face. Take care, and we'll talk to you next week.